Yvette Marie Stevens, who is better known by her stage name Shaka Khan, is an American singer-songwriter whose career has spanned more than five decades. During the 1970s, she began her career as the lead vocalist of the funk band known as Rufus. She was also known as the Queen of Funk. She was the first R&B artist to have a crossover hit featuring a rapper with the song known as I Feel For You in 1984. She has won 10 Grammy Awards and has sold an estimated 70 million records worldwide. While she was still a member of Rufus, she achieved four gold singles, four gold albums, and two platinum albums. In the case of her solo career, she achieved three gold singles, three gold albums, and one platinum album with I Feel For You. She has also collaborated with many other musicians throughout her career. In December of 2016, Billboard magazine ranked her as the 65th most successful dance artist of all time. She was ranked at number 17 in VH1's original list of the 100 greatest women of rock and roll. She has been nominated for induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame three times as a solo artist and four times as a member of Rufus featuring her, with the first time being nominated in 2012. And she also appeared on the third season of The Masked Singer as Mrs. Monster. In 2015, she would take part during season 21 of Dancing with the Stars, being partnered with Kia Mosepe. When they first got onto the dance floor with the first two dances they did, they weren't that good to say the least. Well, at least she had a tiny improvement during the first night of week two. At first, the both of them were getting along really well together, but behind those closed doors, it was the complete opposite. Chicago, Chicago, the title in town. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around. On State Street, that great street, I just want to say. They do things they don't do. The time, the time of their life. I saw a man, he danced with his wife in Chicago. With only two dances, Shaka Khan's Dancing with the Star stats are this, 28 points in an average score of 14.0 and would finish an unlucky 13th place. Of course, Keo has his share of bad partners during his career, but being partnered with Shaka would go down as his worst partner that he has ever had. It was mostly because of Shaka's schedule as she was too busy doing other commitments. As I was reading the article about it, it has been confirmed that Keo would have to rehearse with her at 11 p.m. every night. To me, that is insane. That's pretty much not good for you, especially when you're exercising close to the middle of the night. If her schedule really wasn't as busy at the time, maybe the story would have been different. Due to her being one of Keo's least favorite partners of his entire career, that's why the Queen of Funk will be known as a Dancing with the Stars bus. And that'll do it for this video, so hit that subscribe button, and leave a like on this video, and leave a comment down below, and turn on that post notification bell to keep up to date for more Dancing with the Stars content videos from my channel. Anyways, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey, aka Dance with Stars Superfan.
Catch you next time.